Hi everyone, I'm Jessie and here I'm going to share an idea to recycle your old fabric materials to a beautiful floor mat or a rug, whatever you call it. And to start with, you need to have a lot of fabric and cut that into so many square shapes with equal sides. Then I used around a 12 cm by 12 cm size. Then we need to have a long piece of uh, uh, material with the same width like I have here. And uh, the next step is to take one of your square shaped piece and fold that into a triangular shape. Then again to another triangular shape and just fold that like in the middle and going to fold one of its edge inwards and uh, this side the same then get your long piece of material and place it like it's facing its reverse side like this and I'm going to use a pin to hold it in place before I start sewing it and uh, get your another piece of square shape and fold it into triangular shape again to another triangular shape and fold the edge to inverse and another edge also now it's shaped like a petal so just turn the petal like it facing reverse and just place it on your long piece of fabric and use a pin to hold it in place So I leave a small gap in between two petals. So there is no standard measuring units uh, uh, to say how far it is. It is just half inch or 1.5 centimeter apart from each petals. So the same doing here and you need to go along and to make so many of them so once you finish making the petals up to the other end you can stitch it right over here where the pin is and when you flip it it will look like this Here I show you a long piece of trim I have made. So here, just watch it. I have done a stitching right over there. And when you flip it, it will be looking like this. Okay, here you can see I have made many uh, sized trims. Around two, one, two, three, seven of them and an extra uh, flower shaped one for the center and each one is smaller than the other here i'm using a round shaped fabric which is slightly thick and when you're using you have to use uh, something like a thick fabric so it will not slip around so take care of that it depends on your flooring let me show you the arrangement here, take your trim and I'm going to start from the edge. So, when you place it, place it like this. And each time I'm using the pins to hold it in place. So, likewise, you need to place it and arrange it. So once you finish uh, arranging, you can, you need to stitch it around.
then once you meet the other end you can fold it fold the edge inwards neatly and arrange it the same way so our next step is to sew it around moving on to the second layer so I'm going to place it like it is overlapping the bottom layer and I am going to leave a gap in between the bottom layer and the top one and the same way we're going to arrange it by using the pins followed by stitching it so here I'm going to stop the video so you I think you will understand the followings and uh, see you when I'm making the center part So this part is going to be the center of the mat and uh, unlike the other pieces it has done in a uh, round shaped fabric piece. So just keep that in mind and uh, when you're attaching it just place that in on the middle and uh, stitch that around. Well that's it. If you like the video, please give me a like and comment below the video and subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye.